today we will talk about the types of the variation variation types variation simply means that these are the differences or uh, dissimilarities which are shown by the individuals of the same species by the members of the same species or offspring of the same parent so this uh, variation is generally of two types we say that it is germinal variation germinal variation and then second type is somatic variation first we will talk what the germinal variation is germinal variation it is also called as blastogenic variation germinal variation is also called as blastogenic variation it is also called as blastogenic variation and these this germinal variation it affects the uh, germ cells of the living organisms so this germinal variation it affects germ cells of an organism so what are these germ cells in a living organism we have got two types of cells one is somatic cells which are called as body cells and another is germ cells germ cells are responsible for the formation of the gametes they give rise to gametes the germ cells they give rise to gametes gametes are simply sex cells and these uh, germinal variations they are inheritable variations inheritable variations that means they are passed from one generation to another generation they are passed from parents to offspring this is what is called as inheritable variation then these uh, germinal variations they can be already present in the ancestors or sometimes uh, this germinal variation it can arise anew due to the uh, recombination process or due to the mutation process so this was about the germinal variation then we have got uh, somatic variation this somatic variation it is also called as somatogenic variation somatogenic variation somatogenic variation this uh, somatogenic variation or somatic variation it affects the somatic cells or body cells of the living organism it affects the somatic cells the body cells of an organism it affects the somatic cells or body cells of an organism <laughs> these somatic variations they are they are non inheritable non inheritable and these uh, these somatic variations they are sometimes called as modifications or acquired characteristics they are also known as modifications or acquired characters why they are called as modifications or acquired characteristics because they are acquired by an individual by an organism during its lifetime and these uh, you know these somatic variations they are acquired by an organism during its lifetime so they are also called as modifications or they are also called as acquired characteristics mm, this uh, this uh, somatic variation it is somatic variation it is uh, caused 
by three factors the somatic variation it can be caused by three factors one is one is environment environmental factors another the somatic variation it is caused by three factors another is some uh, environmental factors then use and disuse of organs and third one is conscious efforts conscious efforts environmental factors these uh, environmental factors such as uh, light temperature humidity water availability of water scarcity they affect the living organisms in one way or the other way so environmental factors have impact on the living organisms uh, they have impact on both plants as well as animals but uh, these environmental factors like temperature humidity sunlight they have little impact on the uh, animals well as uh, they conspicuously and promptly they affect the plants this is because of the presence of meristems in the plants so this uh, environmental factors have pronounced effect on the plants because these plants they possess meristems and meristems are uh, severely impacted by the environmental factors as compared to that of the animals then use and disuse of organs uh, the continuous it is also somatic variation the continuous use of uh, these uh, organs they make the a person stronger as compared to that of the person who does not use his organs for example the athletes or players they have they have stronger muscles they have good physique as compared to that of the those persons who are who are doing no exercise so it means that uh, when an organ is used properly that organ becomes stronger as compared to the organ which is not utilized properly which is not utilized uh, that becomes weaker so we can see that the athletes or uh, athletes or players their physique is good that is uh, sound as compared to that of the people who are lethargic who are making no exercise so that uh, use and disuse of organ is also a somatic variation then this conscious effort this conscious effort is those is uh, found in those uh, organisms which have intelligence this conscious effort is found in those organisms which have intelligence uh, for example for example learning this learning process uh, it is also a, what it is also a somatic variation uh, it is because of the intelligence uh, same is the case uh, we have learning or boring of for example boring of pinna this is also for example the some people they bore their pinna this is also a somatic variation and this somatic variation is because of the conscious effort same we have got another uh, there is bonsai bonsai this uh, this this is a technique uh, where humans they cultivate 
the plants in containers so this is the technique of cultivating the plants these are called as miniature plants plants in containers so we can say that the humans they practice this technique and cultivate the plants in small containers this is what is called as bonsai or training of pets or education receiving the education uh, speaking uh, speaking different types of uh, languages uh, these are simply the somatic variations which are acquired which are received by an individual uh, by his own efforts by his conscious efforts so this is uh, what is what is uh, somatic variation then this uh, we have got two germinal variation and somatic variation germinal variation mainly affects the germ cells of the living organism somatic variation affects the uh, this uh, germinal uh, somatic variation affects the somatic uh, body cells of an organism this germinal variation it is of two types the germinal variation it is of two types one is continuous variation continuous variation and discontinuous variation so germinal variation is of two types that is continuous variation and discontinuous variation we'll discuss them in the next lecture what is continuous variation what is discontinuous variation Thanks.